the turning of the sundial. Here our faces find the clay which we had formed. When born amongst the sand and sea, we had crawl on trembling lips upon these temple steps to find how very free our deliverance could be. Here, where we were never formed, and we paint children so forlorn, and place their drops upon the ancient web, where Indra had beheld the ebbing oceans of our naked selves as a sun shaft through a broken collar. Here, where shadows paint the image of a page and fling their flicker dance across the curtains of our age. As the ceremony of the candle shrine bathes our roots in sunken light and the breath of incense smoke writes the pathway of our flight. Here, these molten hands of clay seep back into the moss-swept day, into splattered sunshine musk that dances in mosaic masks of darkness through the dust where threads of stillness intersect and shafts of sunlight do reflect. Here, the golems in the stone pavilion quench the silence of their secret stillness, gathering a sentence out of this molten mystic mess to stare with open mouths of music into the heart of the mosaic, amongst the vapors and the desert drapers of the ancient tree of life, hung in tapestries around the columns of our former strife, and the pregnant earth is drenched in rain. Here the origin of sun gods are raised in the birth of Raja's flame. As silken Persian music empties out our soul and name, and yet only in the eye of every pupil is the truth both found so still as it is scattered through the solar well. And the carving of a laughing legend on the wall tells of nothing in the end as all. Here the streams of every ancient heartstring flood into the blood of everything. And separate sides collide like river banks of diamond gold, spilling through these folds of illusionary skin into the temples of within, where lanterns and infernos dance with stars and supernovas, and the summit of our scattered worth explodes into the mirth of multifoliate inventions, breathing from the heart pavilion center into infinite dimensions. Thank you. Quite, um, deep. JJ, you want to tell us a little bit about your poetry? What's your inspiration for writing these words? Personal sometimes. Last one was. Others impersonal. Just writing, going crazy. Writing as much as possible, you know? Yeah. Although the last one was very personal, so yeah. Um, I heard a lot about, um, I don't know, I took a lot of social commentary. Is your poetry kind of linked to any historic events or, or social issues that you've kind of looked at? Not uh, uh, de definitively. Um, I often think of images of, uh, of fire, of people coming together. Uh, I think that can be sort of interpreted in many different social layers, but it's not really meant that way. Anyone can take what they would like. Do you have any work that's going to be published, or is there any of your work online? Do you have a blog or uh, Facebook? I have a blog. What is that blog? <laughs> it's, it's called the, the Storytelling Corner. Dot blogspot. Uh, dot com. Okay, cool. So that's the Storytelling Corner. Corner. The Storytelling Corner. The dot blogspot. Com. Yeah. Uh, also, to stay tuned with all the artists through the pictures and videos, you can find us on twitter.com forward slash ENT suitcase, that's ENT suitcase, also on Facebook, Entertainment Suitcase, for those of you that want to keep up to date. Thanks again, JJ. Give it up one more time, guys.